winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 low. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another Thursday modding. Today we're back to working on the uh, grain dryer here. Uh, between this video and the last video, I just created all the texture or all the materials for everything. So we got all the yellow pieces. We got all, the wheels are joined. Uh, we got all the screens, all of the red. Uh, this is the Apico logo. All the gray, and then all of the black. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bake everything and all of that fun stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select black, gray, red, and yellow. And we're going to join them all together. And this is going to be body. And then Opico can go under there and screens can go under there and wheels can go under there. Okay, so now you see we have four materials here. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to select the body, tab into edit mode, select it all, and hit oops, uh, Alt-J, and then tab out of that, and then we'll go to the modifiers tab, we'll go solidify, and edge split, and we'll do the same with the screens. And same with the wheels. Actually, no, we're going to undo this. Okay, so now we're just going to edge split it. We don't need to solidify it. Oh, don't really need that on the wheels. Well, maybe if we go solidify and edge split. No. Okay, we just won't apply any there. Okay, so now we'll go back up here to the body. We'll get our bake. Okay. Edit mode. And we'll drag this over and bring it up. Everything's, of course, in a big mess. So we're going to go smart UV project 0 0.01. Okay. We'll let that unwrap just like that. New body it needs to be 2048 by 2048 uh, we're gonna go like this and like that and bake okay and just like that there is everything baked so we'll save as image. And we'll go object mode. Delete all those. New body. And we'll go here. New open textures body. So if we go to texture mode, there we have it. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look the greatest either, but I mean it'll do. Um, okay. Actually, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. I'm just gonna make this one big solid model. So we're just gonna join everything together. Okay, so we got the body done. So now we just need to do the wheels next. Shoot, um, I should do that a little bit differently. We can do that afterwards here. So then open textures wheels dot DDS. Oops. Bam, we got some nice looking wheels. Screens, I'm going to edit mode here. U smart UV okay open textures screens hmm 
Hmm, maybe that's not going to work as well as I'd hoped. How about just unwrapping it? How's that look? Still looks a little bit crazy. That still looks kind of ridiculous. But it's a good enough thing for me, I guess. It's just a map object. It's going to be in one spot. It'll be okay. So then we just have Apico left. Textures, Apico. Textures, Apico. Okay, so now we can join everything together. I don't really care who's doing what on Steam. Okay, so now if we look, body wheels, screens, Opico. Okay, cool. So let's check this out in text uh, rendered mode. Of course, it doesn't look the greatest, but it looks pretty good. Okay, file, export, Giants i3D, dryer.i3D. We'll save that. So today's video is really going to be short because, I mean, we're just working on this, so... Just getting this thing finished, and then that's it. Okay, and then we'll quick do this okay so now we'll go ahead and check it out here in Giants Editor. See how it looks. If it looks pretty good, we'll keep it. If it looks like crap, I'm deleting it. And it looks actually really nice. I'm kind of amazed. I have to admit. Alright. Cool. Apico Grain Dryer. Finished. Cool. Cool. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do... Oh, wait. Never mind. This isn't going to be an in-game object. Or, well, like an in-game model. I was thinking to have to uncheck the rigid body, but we don't. So, just a little short video for you. Maybe next week will be a little bit longer. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at.